Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to cover how to install the resynthesizer, GIMP resynthesizer plugin um, that enables the healing selection tool, which is a popular tool in GIMP. In a past video, someone requested for a more informative piece. So I have a new, brand new install of GIMP here. It doesn't have the resynthesizer plugin. Um, normally it sits under enhance and it sits in here um, among some couple of other areas, but, uh, but definitely in there. So uh, I'm going to explain how to go about this process. So um, if you go to edit then preferences, you will find that there is a folders area in here. If I expand this, then there should be a plugins area. And I can see here, okay, well, this is where the plugins reside. And I'm going to uh, show file location in file manager. So I can just open it as such. And now I've got it in here. So that's saying um, that that's 2.10 plugins. So that's just saying that the plugins folder is in here. Now I'm going to have to go into this plugins folder. It's not in here. It's in the plugins. Ensure you are inside the plugins folder. And this is where the files should reside. So if you Google GIMP resynthesizer plugin, you will find that you will probably get a site either like this or the GitHub. The GitHub is a good one. If you find your GitHub uh, folder or site location rather here, then um, all you have to do is uh, scroll down to where the installation links are. It's important to note that you will notice by these years that it, it actually hasn't been um, updated very often and most of most of the components are actually quite old. It's not actively updated and there are better fill-in tools, especially now in the age of AI uh, fill-ins in painting. There are better options, but this is a very, very good quick go-to method if the area you're trying to fill in is small. So it's still worth it. Uh, I'm in Windows, so I'm just going to go to Install Resynthesizer on Windows. Then I'm going to go to um, an archive of the Resynthesizer plugin for Windows. Just follow the links through. And then you download the raw file from there. This will give you a zip file. Once you open the zip file, there it is there. Um, simply extract all of the files um, into the plugins folder. So I'm going to try this. Here they are all. The executables are there. The Python files are there. Yep. Let me just have a look at this Visio. Uh, sorry. Let me have a look at this text file rather. Um, sometimes they have some installation options, uh, directions rather. But um, uh, look. It's just saying copy all the files to your uh, GIMP directory for plugins, which is what I've done here as such. Um, nothing to add of the ordinary there. That's what I've done, and that's all it's trying to tell you. Um, probably same with the README uh, Windows file, just to say that place the following 10 files um, for plugins in the plugins folder. And that's what I did. I grabbed, I have these 10, these 10 files and more. Um, all in the plugins folder up here. You can see it says plugins here. Okay, I hope that's clear enough. Now, what we're going to do is uh, restart GIMP. And in doing so, if I run it again, we should find that, fingers crossed, couple of Hail Marys. Um, there is the heal transparency tool. It's worked. So, um, you know, if I just create a new image, for example, as such, 
and I draw a line, excuse me, that's why I'm on the arrays, if I draw a line like that, and then I come here and I say, all right, delete, okay, and uh, um, then I say, all right, well, I'm going to fill that place in, and I'm going to say enhance, heal selection, let's see what it does, uh, just to prove that the healing does work, there it is, it healed that, um, it didn't, that's not an undo button, that's a healing, and it just figured out that the line continues through it. So I hope that helps you install the um, GIMP resynthesizer tool, the plugin. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching.